It's GED question of the daytime, and today we are looking at an absolute value uh, style application problem that's pretty typical um, of what you might expect to find on the GED. So let's take a look here. It says, what is the distance on a number line between negative 4.5 and 3.4? And they gave us this little number line here so we can look at it. Now, there's more than one way to do this problem, okay? I'm not going to try to give you guys the idea that this is the easy way, or this is the only way, I should say, to do this. But the way I'm about to do it, I think, is the easiest way for all students to conceptualize. Even students who've never seen a negative number in their life um, can uh, still work the problem this way. So this is how I want to look at it. Would you agree with me that if I, um, here's my two points. I have this point negative 4.5, and here it is in red right here. And I have this point over here, 3.4. And so if I'm talking about the distance between them, I'm talking about this entire space here. Um, and so that's one way to think about this. And what I want to do is I just want to break um, that space right at zero. Um, into two pieces. And so I bet you could agree with me that the distance between those two numbers consists of this piece and this piece. And when I do that, when I break it at zero, it's really easy to see whether you've ever heard of absolute value or not, which means a distance, uh, numbers, uh, distance from zero on a number line, whether you've ever heard of that concept or not, it's easy enough to see how far away a 3.4 is from zero on the number line. Of course, 3.4 is 3.4 away from zero on the number line. So this piece right here is 3.4 units long. Now, how long is this piece? A lot of students will write that this piece is negative 4.5. But if you wrote that, you'd be wrong. Even though the point is at negative 4.5, you'd never talk about distance as being negative. So even though, yes, negative 4.5 is on the left-hand side of 0, the length of that, or the distance that's represented there, is still 4.5 units. So now I see two pieces, and I need to put these two pieces together. I have this side, 4.5, and that side, and I want to total them. To find a total in math class, of course, um, and when you have two separate numbers, you just add. So I'm going to add that 4.5 and that 3.4. And notice, no negatives got involved because I wasn't considering, I was just considering the distance. So 5 plus 4 is 9, 4 plus 3 is 7, and so my answer is 7.9. Now, this, of course, is not the only way to solve this. There are other ways, and um, I do have a longer video if you want to check out um, different ways to conceptualize this. But again, I think this is a simple way for any student to understand. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments.